And can you explain the process why the vaccine causes myocarditis and pericarditis? I'll take that, Dr. Hewitt. Sure. Um, based on our clinical trials and pharmacovigilance data, as well as real world evidence following the distribution now of, of billions of doses of vaccine, we retain confidence, strong confidence in the safety profile of the vaccine. So, sorry, Chair, point of order. Uh, point of order. I've asked, do you understand why it causes, I know that it's a low risk, I'm asking, do you understand why it causes myocarditis? I want you, I want you to explain to me why it causes myocarditis. Do you Pfizer, understand why it causes myocarditis? Pfizer is aware of very rare reports of myocarditis and pericarditis that have been temporarily associated with vaccination. Well, that's However, still ongoing for some people. Senator Reddick, uh, Dr. Thru should answer the question. Thank you, Dr. Thru. According to public health experts and regulatory authorities around the globe, the number of reports of myocarditis remains small. Well, I'm not referring to the number of reports. I want you to explain to me the mechanism of how the vaccine causes myocarditis. Do you or do you not understand the mechanism of why the vaccine causes myocarditis? It looks to me like you don't. And if you don't understand it, why are you saying the vaccine is safe? without qualifying the risks. So, so, uh, Senator Rennick, I think uh, Dr Thuru is actually about to get to that point. Whether people agree, whether there's agreement to his evidence or not is another question for others to make a judgment on. Um, but if, Dr Thuru, if you could uh, again go to um, Senator Rennick's uh, question. Senator, uh, all medicines, all therapeutic products and vaccines have uh, benefits and have side effects as well. Looking at the totality of the evidence for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, uh, regulatory authorities, health authorities, experts globally, including in Australia, within the Department of Health and the TGA, have maintained that the benefit risk ratio- That's not the question that I asked. I asked, can you explain why the vaccine causes myocarditis? Yes or no? Uh, Senator, the benefit risk- Yes or no? So you clearly don't understand the pathway, do you? Because you can't explain it. I'm not referring to the cost benefit analysis here. I'm referring to do you understand the biochemical pathway as to why the vaccine causes damage to the heart? Senator, I am happy to take your question on notice and come back to the committee with whatever information we can provide. I might just clarify, I was not referring to a cost benefit analysis in my previous response. I was referring to the benefit risk ratio and health authorities around the globe continue to recommend uh, the benefits. Uh, and that's, of, this isn't the question that I'm asking. Anyway, thanks, Chair. But, uh, can I just, just so I'm clarif clarify as well, Dr. Thru, you've agreed to um, give further, take the, the question on notice and give further um, response to that question. Um, is that correct? Uh, that is uh, correct, Chair. As I understand, the question was about the mechanisms, uh, and we're happy to take that question on notice. 